Welcome back guys. Um, I'm at my other computer, my actually main computer down on the first floor and I um, changed the motherboard in it and so I ended up having to reinstall a couple of things but um, this here is Ubuntu Mate 1510. Now I've got all my usual things installed uh, Redshift, P-Sensor, Synapse, Clip It, uh, GOVC view, Kazam. One of the things I noticed in the new Ubuntu Mate 1510 is that at least on my system there was no support for Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers out of the box. I had to go and install them. So I wanted to review that process with you uh, just in case you're running into the same problem. So let me pull up LeafPad um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you install the restricted extras. So that would be sudo app get install Ubuntu restricted extras. Okay. Then you're going to make sure you have the non-free firmware installed. So that would be sudo app get install Linux firmware non-free. And then once you have those, you're going to install the Broadcom kernel source. And, and basically without this, you won't be able to activate your Broadcom Wi-Fi sudo app get install broadcom kernel source once you once you go through those three installs then reboot and you should have your broadcom wi-fi installed if you take a look at my wi-fi menu you can see i have Broadcom Wi-Fi and I have my secondary Wi-Fi um, it's a USB dongle that gives me Wi-Fi when Broadcom isn't working so I have both of them activated and uh, of course I prefer the Broadcom because it is my main uh, router which has the higher speeds available so uh, the the uh, dongle only goes up to N and my uh, Broadcom is capable of AC so much faster speeds you can see the 802.11 AC so uh, I just wanted to uh, do a short video on that just to uh, see if you guys might be having the same problem it is seems to be a new situation with uh, Ubuntu Mate 1510. So that's it for this video guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.